Yes, lads, welcome back to another custom tactics video on the channel. And today, I'm sorry to say, we have the sweatiest formation in the game. It's the 5 4 1. Let's get into it. Does your team look like this? Do you struggle to complete those game changing SBCs and play with the best players in FIFA 23? If you said yes to any of this, then you need to get over to AOA and secure yourself some cheap and reliable foot coins and use code ALP at checkout for an extra 3% off. Jeez. Yes, lads. So the defensive style, we need this unbalanced. And um, obviously the reason for this is because we're trying to keep our defensive shape as well as our stamina because you don't want to be burning your stamina out too soon. But again, brilliant press information because you've got those four bodies in midfield. It works very well at the top level. The defensive width as all of our five backs and three backs, whatever we play 35 uh, because the way it's set up is very, very tight in the middle. And obviously then the midfield is nice and bunched. It's very, very difficult to break down. Honestly, I would say when I play this formation, it's the hardest to break down in the game. You will see, we will play a game after this, how hard it is for someone to break me down in before I concede in the first five minutes. Depth, we play 60. Um, I've, I've gone away from going 65. Some formations I play 65, like the 4-3-2-1, I do like to play 65. Bit more comfortable but with this um the way it sets up you know you're trying to limit the counter attacks and those one two over the top through balls build a play is balanced and direct passing we've tried a few if i tried forward runs which was okay to be fair and um, first time this year i've used forward one runs and thought it's actually usable but it still isn't as good as direct passing so if you want to compete at the top level then you do need to be using direct passing with we play 40 on this, and the reason for this is that that left mid and right mid is super important to the team. And I want them to be as close to that striker as possible. You'll see in the instructions in a second. Plays in the box, we whack up to six. Helps those um, those left mid and right mid to get involved with the play. Um, corners, one. Free kicks, one. Just limiting how often we get on the counter attack. It's not really a formation that gets hurt too bad by the counter attack because of how many bodies you have behind the ball, but still... The corners and free kicks are an area that you will be vulnerable if you lose the ball. Right, so the most important part of the instructions. But before we dive into that, if you haven't already, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And we are on the way to 10k, so really appreciate the support that we've received for so far. It has been crazy. But diving in, uh, striker, stay central, get it behind and stay forward. We just want him to be that pillar of light up front the the man that we look to 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 win us games I, I would probably for this formation i would probably swap around liao and mbappe this time of year just because liao is a bit more fun um the two center mids uh, we have one stay back while attacking stay on edge of the box for crosses just so they don't overcommit and cover center and then one on balance, he's going to do a bit of everything. He's going to get forward a bit more, but he's also on stay on the edge of the box cross. I don't really want him to overcommit too much, but sometimes he will because it's Renato Sanchez and he just does whatever he wants and cover center. Um, if you are struggling defensively, just whack this on to stay back while attacking. Just have this two block there that will be that they'll still push up the pitch and a part, you know, be a part of your attack, but they just won't go on too far. But I'd like to have the extra bod there. And Jude Bellingham is a monster and he'll be able to keep everyone out on his own um the left mid and the right mid the most important players in this team so they're gonna look like on this diagram that they are miles away from the striker they play kind of like center forwards in the 4-3-2-1 they because of the instructions they are the attacking set they are cut inside getting behind get into the box for crosses so that cut inside is going to bring them inwards towards liao so they're going to be next to him pretty much while we're attacking. So it plays like that we've got two center forwards, which is amazing. Then come back on defense. It springs back into this 5-4-1 shape with a four block in the midfield and five in defense. It is honestly insane. So for this, these two positions, the left mid and the right mid, I definitely recommend you have attacking players. Mbappe, Neymar, insane. Left foot on the left-hand side, right footer on the right-hand side, or five-star weak foot on you know either side because five-star weak foot is so clutch. Um, center backs, you touch them, I will find you. I will, and I'm not joking. And why is Kim Pembe in the middle? Well, he's my only left footed center back. Like that, that's a bit better. I like the skills and the, uh, and the preferred weak foot on the other side. Left foot on the left hand side of the center backs. Um, full backs uh, join the attack and overlap. 
Um, they are basically as Mbappe and Neymar come inside to join and support the attack. The space left by those two is going to be occupied by Zaha I, and Zaha and Theo Hernandez. I always uh, use these guys as an outball, so they almost become your left mid and right mid while you're attacking. And this is what I think. This is why this formation is so powerful, though, because you've got these these three forwards that are going to be in the box, and then you've got the four backs to bomb down the outside creating all the width that you need and then when you lose the ball it springs back into this formation which is like unbelievably difficult to break down um but yeah that's the three uh, three the five four one and the goalkeepers come for crosses and sweeper keeper fairly standard if you lob it on it might save you now and again but goalkeepers are rubbish and they will let you down so he's a placeholder for chemistry at the moment um and cobalt is really annoying so i wouldn't recommend using him either um you're about to witness um probably my last game of rivals is fifa because the game mode is stinking um i can't stand it i'm not touched at all this week um i just hate the fact that it ruins your friendlies to be honest and how i don't know why i have to play sweaty rival cup matches or every week so after this season we're just gonna just keep on getting deranked and you know, uh, and obviously with people not playing rivals as much now, um, the lower divisions are going to become sweaty, but then the top divisions are just going to be the worst and it's just going to suck the fun out of the game for me. So to keep a little bit of enjoyment in this game for the next month or two, I am not going to be playing rivals at all. I'll be playing the Caps and I'll be playing the um, my qualification and, and foot champs because that is the most fun in this game. The rest of it stinks because look at this on repeat. And my expert analyst has it all stinks so much. But, you know, it's all about mindset and just, you know, trying to remain positive. I do hope that, you know, this drop back kind of tactics is resolved in the next FIFA because it's horrible to play. Oh my God, my control is not even working. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the first half of this game. Um, Kobel is the worst goalkeeper in the game, and by the way, I thought I'd let you know that. Um, I'm looking for ways to get rid of him. Hopefully, we get some better Dortmund links in the next few weeks, because I really want to use Jude, but I don't want to use Kobel because he stinks. Oh. Good movement. Nice, great tackle. You know, it's like this different formation is going to be super strong defensively, obviously, being a five back. Um, and you've got those options out wide, which are always going to be there. Is that not a foul game? Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, at the minute, I don't think I'm really enjoying the way the game feels. It's just very, like, I, th I think it's because I am in, like, one of the, like, where most of the sweats are, and I can't imagine the people that are in. Um, the elite division is probably not even worth thinking about. Um, but you can see you've got lots of options in the box for this formation. Ah, oh, turn. Nice. Come back on yourself. We've not done a warm-up game in classic ALP fashion, um, which is good. Um, everyone has checked now, which is even better. Oh, well then. We're going off um, Renato a little bit. Come on. He's just a bit, I don't know. It just feels like he's been a bit nerfed, you know, him before he scores. But I'm just, I'm just not enjoying, I'm just not enjoying rival. Rivals makes me very sad when I'm playing rivals. I do not enjoy it one bit. And it's with Petr Cech. Yeah. Becker. This is the One least amount of fun ever, I think. Hernandez. I said, though, like, if you watch yesterday's video, five packs aren't really my thing these days. Just because I find it quite, you know, boring. But they are very effective. 
because look at you were able to hold that possession especially with this one with the four midfielders like i don't know where renato's going because he's trying to troll me oh bit brilliant bit of skill what a finish that was awesome <laughs> right and no one quits in rivals so you got a full half it and he's going for kickoff cheese as everyone in this division does thank you very much we we're trying to have a little bit of fun in this division We'll try. Yeah. Oh. Well, nothing productive, really. I notice then you've got the whole team recovering. This check card is the most annoying card. He's like the new Alawiren. He's the worst. I hate. Oh, come on. Oh my God. What the hell was that? Neymar. Theo Hernandez now. Oh, well, Neymar. And Neymar's motoring. Whoop. Bye bye. Bye bye. Up on a silver platter for it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this division is the worst. And that is my last ever game of rivals, lads. But you saw this formation is absolutely killer. Uh, I definitely recommend you just get stuck in, give it a go, and let me know how you get on. And if you enjoy it, you're a rat. But I love you all the same. Jeez.